Hey gang, it's Brian from FX Billiards. Today I am going to give you at least five examples of ways you can use inside English to your advantage. Obviously, I can't cover every possible situation. I just want to give you enough to spark your creativity so that when you see these opportunities at the table or similar opportunities, you know what to do with them. So let's get started. A couple of things we need to talk about before we start talking about using inside English. Number one, what is inside English? Inside English means that I'm hitting the cue ball with spin on the side that is closest to my object ball. What exactly does that mean? It means if I'm shooting the four ball here and I'm putting English on this side of the cue ball versus this side, this side would be inside because it's the side that is closest to the object ball. Now this can be confusing sometimes because if I shoot this one ball down the rail, I'm shooting it with inside English, I'm playing it on the right hand side and a lot of players, they kind of lose the perspective when the ball is actually touching the rail. But anytime my tip is on the inside part of that ball, then that is inside English. The second thing we need to talk about is the challenge of shooting with inside English. If you've been using English on your shots, whether it's to make a shot or get position, you understand the effects that English has on your object ball. The number one effect is that it's going to throw that object ball in a certain direction. If I shoot this with left hand English, it's going to be thrown into the pocket. Now, if you know me and you know this channel, I always tell you don't aim to miss. So if anyone teaches you to aim to miss, you need to tweak that. What you're doing is compensating. So I, one of the analogies I like to use is if I'm throwing a pass uh, to a receiver who's running across the field, I have to lead that receiver. I am not aiming to miss that receiver. I'm aiming to put it in his hands, but I'm compensating. And the same thing, I want your mindset with these shots. Hey, I am compensating for the English, not I am aiming to miss. When you put inside English on the shot, you are doing everything that causes you to make this shot more difficult. If outside makes the ball move into the pocket from this cut angle, what does inside do? It's actually throwing it away from the pocket. So now you really do need to compensate. The only situation that I can think of off the top of my head where inside English makes a shot more makeable is when the ball is on the rail. This shot, since I was 10, 12 years old, I have shot with inside English. So the first shot I'm going to show you is the rail shot with inside English. On that one ball from here, it would be right hand English. On that seven ball, the ball is also on the rail. That would be left hand English. If I'm shooting from down there, on this five ball is going to be right hand English. The shot looks like this. Right hand English on this shot, walks the one ball down the rail. You can tell the spin that's on the ball by the way it came off. Now, something obviously that should be taken into consideration is what kind of position do I need to get? If I need to come laterally across table, I'm not going to put inside English on it. But if I want to come off of multiple rails, I'm going to put the inside English here. If all else is equal and my position play is not as important as me making the shot, I'm going to the inside English every time. If you haven't shot balls like this, you don't want to shoot starting with this kind of distance to learn these shots, but I'm doing it for illustration purposes. Again, you can see the English come off the rail with all of that right hand spin, but don't start from six or seven feet away. Start out much closer, practice it that way, and you'll become good at it. So let's look at another shot. You're on the one, you need to get on the two. What exactly are you going to do? Well, this shot is actually straight in, but what we can do is play it with high left, come off of this rail and this rail and head down here, pretty close to this diamond in fact, and have position on the two ball. 
This is a very common shot that comes up a lot, guys. You know it wouldn't be FX Billiards if I didn't show you some of the more exotic shots, right? You're on the three, you need to get on the four. What are you gonna do? How about that rail, this rail, this rail, and then pull up over here. You're saying, what, what the hell, Brian? Okay, there's the shot. Inside English on this three ball. How's that for a position? Not a basic shot, not a simple shot, but what's the point of the video? To teach you some scenarios that you can use later. So here we have a similar situation, but this time our four ball is on the rail here. We can't possibly hold up for that four. If we play the three in the side and we want to play the four in that corner, then we're going to have to do something good. So we shoot this with high right, we come off the long rail with this inside English and we get a reversal of the cue ball's direction and move in behind the four ball. So the shot looks like this. And now we're moving in line with the four. We have a relatively straight shot, which is what we want. So we can get a relatively straight shot on the five and we're probably gonna be out from here. That shot takes a little bit of touch, but is not as complicated as some of you might think. High, inside, just like we shot to get on the four over here, except there's a lot less energy on the ball. We're not sending it all the way around the table. We're not sending it off of two rails and all of that. Um, very similar as far as execution, but it is um, probably a lot easier shot for you too, because it is more predictable if you're not accustomed to these shots, it's more predictable as to what is going to happen with the cue ball. Let's look at something else. If you watch FX Billiards, you already know this shot. We're on the six ball, but we're on the wrong side and we need to get on the seven, which is down here. So we shoot this off at three rails. And by the way, this is not inside English, it has outside English. We come down here and we get perfect position on that seven which is gonna give us perfect position on that eight, which is gonna put us out. Now, what happens if the seven ball is here? Things are a little different. What if I shoot this same shot, but I put inside on it? Looks like this. That, is what I like to refer to as a spirit breaker. <laughs> Your opponent has no idea what just hit them. Same shot that we used to come around to get on the seven ball here. Inside English, we come off of those rails, we pull up with a seven ball. The English, the inside English, once it catches the rail, it starts to move around the table a lot quicker than you will anticipate. Okay guys, if you got those four or five shots down, you are ahead of the game. All over the world, right now. I can name five guys off the top of my head. They've been playing for 20, 30 years. Never used inside English to get position on a shot. Never once used inside English to get position on a shot. You have an advantage over all of those guys. Now, the simplest and most basic use of inside is what I'm gonna show you here. We're playing the seven ball. We wanna get on the eight. We could just make this shot. If we just shoot it in from here, we can make the shot. That's not a problem. The problem comes in when we have this angle, because if we just make the shot, now we're moving towards that side pocket. If we wanna end up in that side pocket, we can just shoot it just like we just did. But one of the things we can do here is cut off that angle, reduce the angle by using inside English. We avoid the side pocket. We also avoid ending up all the way down there on what should be a relatively easy shot for us. So that's another way, the simplest way you can use inside English. Just visualize what you want that cue ball to do. You want it spinning, you want it spinning reverse. It's also what we call reverse English. Uh, given this angle, you want a spinning reverse of what it wants to do naturally, which is to head up table on you. 
It's not spectacular like a couple of the shots, but it is very useful. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up. If you're not subscribing, you're missing a lot of videos, guys. I'm knocking them out like crazy right now. And your competition is watching. So hit nwqpool.com for our online masterclass in pool. 80 videos, very affordable, and you're going to learn a lot in a very short period of time. Have a great day.